Hi, this is Avi Levi with Levi Design Build. Um, this is our third video um, for our Mission Hills garage conversion project. In this video, I'll review um, the plans that were completed and submitted for plan check with the city. Um, first, let's start with the architectural drawings. Um, architectural drawings are basically uh, showing um, uh, the floor plan layout and elevations of um, the garage um, it's going to show the existing and the proposed um, garage conversion um, in this case you can see here we have um, the plot map which site plan which shows the lot the existing main house entrance to the main house this is the existing garage and um, that um, this lot is a corner lot um, and the access to the garage is from this side and um, from this street over here um, and the proposed essentially is the same since we're not making any exterior changes we're not adding the footprint of the garage so it's the same it just shows that this is the existing and this is the proposed which is the same um, over here we're gonna see the um, um, some of the um, elevations and floor plans um, of the garage. So as you can see, this is the existing garage that we're proposing to have as an ADU. Um, and this is the interior floor plan. I, if you remember from the previous video, I've presented that um, as soon as you walk in, you have a kitchen, a full bathroom, and a bedroom living room combination with a small peninsula for sitting and eating breakfast. Um, you're gonna see here also, I'll zoom in a little bit, just a second. You're gonna see here what's called windows and door schedule. Basically, are those are the sizes or and types of the windows and the doors. You're gonna see here the exterior elevation of the garage of where we're going to put those doors and windows this is how it is right now with the garage door and those are all the green building codes that we need it to add to be part of the plans um, next is our structural engineering drawings and this is mainly going to be related to a uh, foundation reinforcement and framing changes that we're doing um, on the property in this case and I'll zoom in just a second okay so in this case you can see that those and this is the existing slab on grade for the garage and all those HDUs that you see those are all the foundation sorry the framing reinforcement that needs to take place that's where we're adding additional framing to create the bathroom over here the lawn the washer and dryer over here the closet over here Go down a little bit more this is here I'm gonna show how the roof framing is and again going back over here as you can see framing and foundation Okay, and then on the next page, we're going to have the details. Those are basically the um, more details that the contractor will need um, for um, working on the framing and foundation. It's going to give him the instructions of how to do those connections of those different foundation um, um, adding and the framing reinforcement that has been requested with a, a, a different hardware that the engineer is asking him to use. And lastly, we're going to have here, this is the Title 24 energy calculations. 
the first page basically is going to show different calculations of walls, um, attic, uh, space that needs to be heated and cooled, um, an uh, amount of uh, fixtures that needs to get hot water. But on the last page of it, you can see here, this is a summary of it. It's going to show the type of insulation that needs to be used in the walls and the ceiling, uh, what type of roof. Um, in here we're going to have the type of HVAC system, the heating and cooling, which in this case it's a mini split unit that's going to provide both cooling and heating. And it's going to show the uh, type of water heating that needs to be done. So this is a complete set and once this set is done usually we need to take it to the city and submit it for plant check um, within their offices. Now with the existing coronavirus um, that is out there, uh, the way it's being done right now is the city is allowing us to do all of our submissions online. This one was actually sub just uh, submitted yesterday online. And once we're submitting the plans online for a plan check, basically you can see here, this is um, confirming that the project was submitted, reference number, basically it's done online. Within two days, we should hear back that they received everything they needed if, or if there's any additional documents they're gonna need from us. And from there, it's gonna move on to plan check. That's it, see you next one in the next update. And um, hopefully it's gonna be when we're gonna hear back from the city and getting, um, clearances started so the project is going to come to a completion of approvals and getting ready for construction.